Hi, this is Vladan from SX Virtualization Blog. Today I'm going to show you installation of Veeam 1 version 7 R2 and uh, what's the real value of the product uh, in its free version. Enjoy! Okay, now the product is installed, so we're gonna go and uh, click on the Veeam 1 monitor and uh, we can see already that we have some errors in our infrastructure, like that host is uh, swapping some memory, you can see through the alarms, how the alarms works and you have a nice explanation text you can choose a data stores vms to add or hide i like really the possibility to learn actually through the product you can see all the problem you have it shows you the knowledge the cause of the problem and now this is a nice feature you can actually interact with your VMs for example now I'm running one nested ESXi so with the right click I can I can launch party console directly from within the Veeam 1 user interface I can also power off or reboot the VM. 
if you do the same for the Windows VMs, uh, it launched the RDP client. So in the summary view, you can easily see the host state, the data store state. You can see how much memory is swapped on my one of my hosts. But I'm swapping to SSD flash drive, so I'm heavily overcommitting this host. And you can see the latest five minute statistics for each of the components. Depending which part of the infrastructure you selection, you selection. If it's the data center view, V center view, you got the data through IOPS, memory utilization, etc., etc. I think it's really nice for a free product. can sort it of your VMs which do have problems which have some warnings so let's see this warning for example this VM has some problems uh, with the disk space on uh, disk D yeah it's a small disk I know and it's gonna be out of space very soon so you can see it through the, through the UI data store state now this my SSD is heavily over commitment of commit with the thin provisioning and the warnings are for old snapshots which I'm using for thin up thanks very much for watching bye bye